So we are back. Now, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to meeting my next guest. It's a rather unusual story. She decided at the age of 82 to become a professional actress. That was 10 years ago. And she is uh, one of the stars of the hit movie, Parenthood. Would you welcome Helen Shaw? <laughs> Well, it's nice to meet you, and welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Uh, may I call you Helen? Is that all right? Hey, everybody else, even the milkman calls me Helen. Well, <laughs> <laughs> things are going that well, huh? Good. It's just nice, nice to have you here. So, uh, I mean nothing by, uh, about that at all. Now, somebody told me, now, this, I'm not saying this out of ego or anything, but somebody told me until we called you, you had not seen The Tonight Show. That's right. You know, I've been doing this for almost, it'll be tr the end of 27 years this well, month. Well, I'm not that old. <laughs> Come on now, you're 92. I'm okay. 92, but I'm not 37. <laughs> yeah. well, you, don't, you don't stay up that late, or? No, no, I, I lived, I've lived on three hours sleep all my life. Uh-huh. But um, I, I'm a gadder, and I gad, and in the theater, I'm out usually late at night. Right. And I live up in the mountains, and I don't have a TV. Oh, my gosh. I can't get anything up there. Yeah. I'm too close to the mountains. Did you take a look at the show since we called you? Did yes. You see, to see what you were getting into? Uh-huh. Yeah, well, what'd you think of it? I was scared. Yeah? <laughs> what'd no. you think of the show? Oh, I loved you. Really? Yes, I well, think you're good. marvelous. Well, it's not nice after all these years. <laughs> yeah. I did a jingle about you. A jingle? Uh-huh. Somebody told me you write jingles. Is this, is this oh, a I've hobby? Oh, I've got three or four thousand. Really? But if I did them tonight, you know, you'd be here for two weeks. <laughs> Can you, you want to do one? Johnny Carson? Who is he? Talk on his show? Oh, no, it couldn't be. Gabble with the guy who outsmarts them all? Say yes with delight when you get his call. Well, that's sweet. <laughs> well, what's going on? I did another one. You got another one? Okay. You got another one? The eyes are failing, and yeah, so I... am I. I'm not looking younger, although I try. The bones give out, the muscles quiver, the heart works hard, and so does the liver. <laughs> the mind forgets, and the ankles swell. But hell, I say, I'm doing well. Good for you. Well, look, I don't. Now, I, I assume that you are not too familiar with Mr. Reiner, are you? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, as I said, I don't have a TV, and yeah. I, I don't go to the movies very often. Mm -hmm. And I'm out of town a great deal, and I go to the high desert part really, of the really? time. And I'm more or less isolated. You're kind of a loner, huh? Yeah, I'm a loner. I'm a tramp. A tramp. But I always have a return ticket. Ah, you never idea. go out without a return ticket. Yeah, you're right. I've been busted all over in countries all over the world, but I always can get home with my ticket. You can, huh? You ever been married? Very briefly once, about 75 years ago. <laughs> well, have you, have, you, have you... Have you gotten over it yet? I mean... I just don't want to get married again. You tried it once and that, that was it, huh? Well, there are... Were there any good moments in the marriage? Oh, well, there should be, but yeah. uh, you've got to be properly paired. Yeah, properly paired. How about you? <laughs> yeah. That, that's what some of my wife said. How about you? Same, same thing. No, I, I, I've tried it a few times, but so uh, you spent a lot of times in the high desert. Is this uh, kind of rustic, you mean? You say you have no television? Is this a no, cabin? No, there's or? nothing up there, and I was four miles up the highway away from uh, everything, and mm -hmm. when people... Uh, I went out there, I was uh, working, uh, uh, collaborating on books at the time uh -huh. with people. As, and uh, I would go out there with a manuscript to study, and it would be wonderful to be out there all by myself, and no phone, nothing. Just, that sounds great. Just the animals and the air. Right. And that's where I learned to love my rattlesnake. You like rattlesnakes? Oh, I just love him. He's my best friend I ever had. Yeah. He, uh, he saved me from um, 
breaking my virginity. Well, I mean my semi-virginity. <laughs> He's still okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna go one more question on this. How, uh, how did a rattlesnake save your semi-virginity? Well, people told me that if I went out there by myself, a woman, this was 20 years ago when I was younger, yeah. that I'd be raped. That you'd be... Raped. I see. And I said, well, I've taken care of myself all over the world, and I'm still here. Right. And one day, I, a car drove up with six men in it, and I walked out on the terrace and said, well, what is it you gentlemen want? And they said, we've come to teach you love. I said, thank you, I know about love. And my rattlesnake moved in and stood between us. Mm -hmm. And I said, do you like rattlesnakes? <laughs> and she said, oh! <laughs> that was the end of that. I said, that's my friend right there between okay. you and me, and there he is. Yeah. And they got in the car and drove away. I don't blame them, yeah. Somebody says you still drive a car? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. I drive about 10,000 miles a year. Yeah? What kind of car you got? Pardon? What kind of an automobile do you have? Well, I have a Cutlass Supreme, oh. 71. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, gone, it's gone 110,000 miles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Runs like mad. Now, do you go on the, you go on the freeways? Oh, all the time. I'd rather drive the freeways than anything. Yeah? You know where you're going. How fast do you drive on the freeways? Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I started driving when I was probably uh, eight years old, eight or nine years old. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What was your first car? I bet you don't remember. first car we had was an Oakland. Does anybody an ever Oakland? remember the Oakland? I, I don't remember so. the Oakland. It was made in Pontiac, Michigan, uh, where the uh, uh, where some other cars are made now. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> it had no windshield no and windshield. no uh, doors. Yeah. And my father and mother debated for weeks whether they'd spend eleven dollars to put on a windshield. And they finally decided it was worth it to keep the rain out. So they put the windshield on. Mm -hmm. you, you sound like you have a fascinating life. So we got a windshield. So you put the windshield on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then at at, at eighty two. You took up acting. you never done any professional acting before? Oh, I've worked in little theaters little all theater. my life. Yeah. I, when my mother, my mother used to have a whisk club. Does anybody remember whisk, a whisk club? The game club? of whisk, yeah. That was a pre-runner of a bridge. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And um, I used to ham around and entertain her friends. Yeah. But then as soon as I was able to go to school and get out, I uh, started working in little theaters. But yeah. that's all for free. Yeah. Now you got paid for parenthood, right? And about 10 years ago, I decided I'd work for free long enough. You're damn right. <laughs> Why not? You're a fascinating lady. It's nice to have you here. We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. it is right. But I've had animals in the Yeah, you have. Yeah, you are. Did you, uh, you know, we're just about out of time. Did you have fun tonight? Did you enjoy this? Coming oh, on yes. The show? I don't do anything. I don't have fun at Yeah. Well, we enjoyed having you on the show. But I tell you, I, I, you have to have fun or you don't live very long. Yeah. And being happy is one of the greatest assets that a person can have. And I'm think... always happy. Well, good for you. Thanks for coming tonight. Thank you, Carl.